Good morning. You guys will not guess where I'm at. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru because they came out with new summer drinks. They're like frozen, so I'm going to try one of them right now. In today's video, I really wanted to do a summer slash July reset. I love doing monthly resets. I honestly haven't done one in a couple of months though, and I miss doing them. And I feel like July is a big month to reset from because it's just a different vibe. It's summer. There's just a lot of like different things. So that's what today's video is. We're resetting for the month. Also, literally this is my hand right now because I got surgery a week ago on my wrist. So yeah, so I'm low-key kind of one-handed, but it's okay. I'm literally driving with one hand. But yeah, the first thing we are doing is trying out the new summer drinks from Starbucks because I'm so excited. I love a good like frozen drink. And so I know they have like a frozen mango dragon fruit. They have a frozen strawberry acai. And then I think they have a frozen pineapple passion fruit. I'm kind of leaning towards that one because I know what a strawberry acai tastes like and I know what mango dragon fruit tastes like. So I don't know if I should get that one that I haven't really tried. But I've heard everyone say very good things about them so I'm very excited to try it. But we have a list of things to do in order to reset for the month. We are going to do obviously what I love to do every like monthly reset is deep clean my room and my like personal space i'm going to clean my car and i just want to reset my personal clutter that i have we're going to make a vision board we are going to write down a bucket list that we want to do for summer i also want to go grab some summer goodies like i need a new beach towel stuff like that let's just like restock for the summer since summer is officially here now but we're also going to set goals and reflect on june June was honestly a really, really good month for me, so we'll reflect on that a little bit later on in this video. I feel like setting monthly goals is very realistic and it helps you like feel accomplished when you like reach and achieve goals every month. Here's what she looks like. This is the Pineapple Passion Fruit Frozen Lemonade. It looks super good. I've been seeing a lot of people kind of complaining that like the top is frozen but the bottom's kind of not. And I do kind of see what they're saying. You guys, I'm legit one-handed. It has been such a struggle to open things with one hand. I am not really sure. We're just gonna try it, whatever. Whoa. That is very pineapple <laughs> This is so good though. Wow. Literally 10 out of 10. It is so refreshing, guys. This is like a literal perfect summer drink. I definitely want to try the mango dragon fruit and strawberry acai one. That'll be another day, but this is super good. I'm glad I tried it. Now I'm going to head home and we are going to clean my room and also clean out my car as well and vacuum in here. This is what it looks like up close, guys. It's so freaking bomb. It's like delicious. You guys can literally see how frozen it is. I'm obsessed with this drink. 10 out of 10 for Starbucks. All right, guys, I made it back home. I am now in my room. Let me show you guys this room. <laughs> it's so bad. Actually, you know what? It's not that bad. It could be worse. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up because it's a freaking mess and disaster. And I want to start the month with a clean room. When I'm filming this, it's July 1st. So, yeah, it's the literal start of the month. First off, let me show you guys this spoiled ass cat that I have. Literally, he's the worst. This is him. He's actually very cute, but he's bad. This is my bed. Obviously, I just need to make it, like, put clothes where it needs to go. Get that thing out. Um, then to clean up my vanity and then my closet, guys. Come on. Didn't I just do a closet clean out? What is this? What is this? I'm gonna clean this out. Oh, here is what I'm looking like, you guys. This jumpsuit is from Garage. It's so freaking cute. I paired it with a little flannel around my waist. And you guys, it's an open back. Here is what this is looking like. We need to figure that out. You guys already know, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you guys know that this is like the worst part of my room. That's always freaking dirty. And then obviously just clean up that. It's not too bad, I just need to pick up and put things in place. Of course, I'm watching Trisha, she's my favorite. And so yeah, let's do a little cleanup montage. Also, I literally have one hand, 
So bear with me with this freaking montage, y'all. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. So my room looks pretty good. I tackled everything. I made my bed, I cleaned my dresser, and this one as well, wiped everything down. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Aerie. Let me go ahead and show you guys that now. My room looks pretty clean though, so I'm very happy about that. I'm also gonna have to do some laundry right now, so I'm gonna take this downstairs. Going back to the gym recently, obviously, ever since I got surgery, I have not been, but I've been on a pretty good grind, and once I get my cast off, I'm going to go back. So, I got a cute, like, gym set at Aerie. Also, it's a good, like, monthly reset to motivate you for the month, so you're active. It is royal blue. You guys, it was also on sale, so that's a plus. Here are the little, like, biker shorts, kind of. I mean, I guess they're kind of just, like, short shorts they're high rise though and they have the cross which i really like if you guys have never tried airy leggings or anything from airy please go they are literally so soft and thin and stretchy honestly they really do remind me i have lululemons as well they really do remind me of lululemon they're super soft like very soft and i really like the cross and then i got the matching top which is just like a sports bra shirt I like when sports bras look like tops because I don't feel weird and uncomfortable wearing this at the gym and feeling like I'm literally just in a bra. It literally is like a little crop top. It's so cute. So yeah, I got that from Aerie. I just wanted to show you guys because it's very cute. Something new I got to start the month off. I'm sure you guys have seen on TikTok that like healthy lunch with the sausage and mustard and cottage cheese and everything. I'm basically gonna try it. This is what I have. The sausage honestly looks disgusting. And I'm waiting for my hard boiled eggs to boil. And you guys, I don't know. I'm very scared, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it on my TikTok. So I'll put it here, go watch my TikTok to see my reaction to that, cause I'm very scared. But I'm honestly like very curious as to if it's good or not. All right guys, since summer is here, honestly, I think for two years I've done like a summer bucket list video. Um, I have not gotten around to do one this year. I thought I would just share like 10 things that are kind of on my summer bucket list. But if you guys do want me to do a whole entire video of summer bucket list ideas for 2023, I can definitely do that, let me know. Um, but if you haven't seen last year's, I will go ahead and link it in the description. I think I came up with over a hundred ideas last year, so if you guys want some inspiration, go click that video. Uh, but I can make an updated one if you guys really want me to. So I'm gonna share some bucket list ideas I have for this year that I really want to accomplish this summer. I'm only gonna share like 10, like I said, because I have a lot more, but these are just like the main ones I'm looking forward to. Number one is go to the fair. I live in San Diego, so the Del Mar Fair comes every year around this time, and and it actually leaves the 4th of July, which I'm so sad. I literally wish the Del Mar Fair would literally stay like just one more week. One more week because it's so hectic to kind of try to fit it within like that like month that it's here. Within the couple weeks that it's here, I feel like I've, I'm always busy when it comes. So I hope I can still make it to the fair. We will see. I just love going to the county fair and it's just vibes. Like that just like screams out summer to me. I love taking pictures. I love the food, fair food literally is unmatchable. It's like iconic and I really want to go and just take some cute pictures. I just want to go for the vibes. You know, I just really want to go. Next is go on vacation. And guys, I'm actually going on vacation in September, which will technically still be summer. I'm going to Cancun. I'm literally beyond excited for it. Um, I'm going with JC. We're going for our two year anniversary. So I'm very excited. Stay tuned because I will be having a lot of travel content and like pack with me's. 
shopping for my vacation stuff like that so I'm looking forward to that that's definitely on my bucket list next is summer thrifting I feel like I always want to go thrifting you guys I kind of low-key just suck at it maybe I don't know how to look maybe I'm just not going to like good thrift stores honestly but I do want to like thrift a couple outfits for summer I think that would be very fun obviously I live in San Diego so the beach is legit like 15 20 minutes away from me so i definitely want to have a couple of beach days and take advantage of the beach honestly a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying this i typically do not like the beach i don't i'm sorry i don't like the sand gets everywhere the ocean really scares me but i really want to push myself and take advantage because a lot of people do not live near the beach and would love to live near the beach so i'm gonna take advantage because san diego is so beautiful and i don't take advantage of my city so i'm gonna push myself to go to the beach and have like a cute like coconut girl summer i also want to go on a couple hikes and me and jc have been planning to do this we just have not found the time you guys literally there's so much going on like we just need to find the time to go i also want to try new coffee shops and just like new little shops in my city so if you guys are in san diego if you know some cute coffee shops leave them down below and i would love to go try them another bucket list goal i have for summer is to hit 15,000 subscribers you guys we just hit 12,000 subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you guys so much i love you guys and i've been getting a lot of new subscribers so if you're new welcome hello i appreciate you guys so much so i do want to hit 15,000 subscribers this summer so if you are not subscribed subscribe down below literally free what are you doing so yeah that's another goal i have so those are a couple things i have on my bucket list this summer i definitely have more but these are just like the main ones i'm very excited about all right guys let's go clean my car i just need to clean it out a bit I'm just going to like wipe everything down, pick up the trash, take out the trash there, like grab other things, and then we're going to go ahead and vacuum my carpet because that's disgusting. Tell me this is my car without telling me that it's my car. Let's take this inside. I want to set some goals for the new month of July and I also want to reflect on June because it was a pretty exciting month and I want to just reflect on it. I feel like June was a very, very, very good month for me and I'm so grateful for it. So in June, I was able to get my car. I'm so happy. Um, I got my new car that I had been wanting and it was actually one of my New Year's resolutions. So I've accomplished a New Year's resolution. <laughs> so it feels really good to like accomplish a goal that I set from like the beginning of the year and honestly I had been wanting a new car for about two years so I finally got it and I'm so happy and honestly so proud of myself for accomplishing that goal so that was like a like the biggest thing that happened in June also in June literally I feel like I was very 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 consistent here on YouTube and I've been growing so much so that has also been happening like I will pop up a picture of like the most recent videos and like the, you guys can literally see like how close I've been posting how frequent I've been posting and how good my videos have been performing versus like a couple months ago so I'm very grateful and I love all of you guys and I just shout out to you guys because you guys make that happen and I just really appreciate it I just want to continue being consistent and I'm very proud of myself for being consistent while I work literally a full-time job so I've been trying so I'm gonna continue it and keep the momentum going for you guys also in June I finally got back into the gym and on Honestly, I've been very 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 consistent with my boyfriend and we've been honestly eating a lot better we used to eat like trash guys and it was just not it and so we really during the week we really try to strive to eat very clean and obviously right now I cannot go to the gym but 
trust me once this thing is off i'm going and i even have like a cute new set to be very motivated in so yeah i'm very excited that i got back into the gym those are some highlights of my june month now for july and like what i want to set my intentions for july and goals so we hit 12,000 subscribers a couple days ago and it was still june in july i want to hit 14,000 subscribers that's a big goal i think we can do it my girlies got me but yeah that's a big goal i also want to keep up my consistency like i was just talking to you guys previously about um i want to collab with a couple more brands in june i also collabed with a lot of brands and i'm very 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 grateful for obviously i want to stay consistent in the gym and honestly july is a very busy month for me there's a lot of birthdays it's my birthday it's jc's birthday it's jc's brother and dad's birthday um I have other cousins that it's their birthday too. I just want to be very family oriented and spend time with my family and spend time with friends in this month. It's also summer, so I definitely want to be spending time with my friends and going out more. So those are my July goals and I'm very excited. So we will come back for August and see what goals I was able to meet. Literally all I'm doing is going on Pinterest and making a actual Pinterest board and selecting all the aesthetic photos that I really want to add so I can manifest my summer, my 2023 summer. Okay guys, I just grabbed all the pins I wanted to grab and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my board. I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see right there. All right, I obviously named my board Summer 2023. First we have some nice fresh food we have some salad avocado toast um i also pinned a lot of like camera stuff and like youtube vlogging stuff just because i obviously want to stay consistent this summer on youtube oh god what am i doing and then i have some nail inspo for summer i'm very excited to get my summer nails because this is not it and i literally need to get my nails done by camp because i have this and i need to like give the lady my arm but i can't i have some ideas when once this cast is off though then also i'm turning 23 this month literally so i have some birthday pins and little photo shoot ideas for my birthday I have some coffee shops cancun i'm going to cancun in september so i'm very excited about that just like drink aesthetics i love like a good starbucks in the summer or like mosas um, I also have the beach, the Del Mar Fair, a lot of San Diego pins, honestly. I love, like, the colorful vibes here, like, with the poppy. Just, like, some cute drink photos of drinking on the beach would be very cute. Some packing aesthetic photos to get motivated for packing and just, you know, get an aesthetic. You guys, I also have some beach pins, like, this is so cute, like, pizza on the beach. I really want to do that. And then again, I have like a pin for like my birthday. So that was my mini board. And you guys know that I typically like collage all the photos and make it into like my wallpaper. So I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm literally so grateful for all of you guys. I have gained so many subscribers and a lot of you guys are new to my channel. So thank you guys so much. Also, I have the TV on. So do not mind the lighting that keeps on changing. I'm so sorry. I really apologize for that. I also cannot believe it's already July. We're already more than halfway through the year. Like how is that even possible? I don't even understand how I can't. Like my brain literally cannot. Like I can't wrap my head around it. My birthday's coming up. I'm so excited. I have so many videos planned for you guys. I literally have a list that goes on forever of videos that I want to film. So let me know what you guys want to see. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.